So I'd like to give an update of the tower clock I'm building based on a design by John Wilder. So the clock is a replica of what you see here that is in New York City. It's a beautiful building. This is the old uh, GE headquarters on Lexington Avenue. You can see this building, the architecture of it, you know, very art deco, but the clock has a centerpiece on it, very important part of the architecture of this building. It is a beautiful design. So with that, you know, the history of this, you can see, you know, 1931, um, anyone who goes to New York, I take a look at this building. But this is where the clock's gonna go. This is in Stamford, Connecticut. This is a new facility being built by G Appliances. It'll go right above that door. And here's where I am so far. You can see I've got the uh, GE meatball just for aesthetics, uh, cut, mounted to the clock. You can see it's basically done except one important part uh, missing, the wheels. So the wheels I've got all ready. I've got them, uh, you know, cut out, ready on mandrels, but I need my cutter. So I'm waiting for that. In the meantime, I've been progressing. I've got the uh, pendulum all built out, got the crutch. So you can see, once I get the cutter for these wheels, uh, it should be pretty quick progress on getting that part. Still need to get the stand built. Got some help on that. This is an exciting part. Um, a friend of mine is cutting the face out. This material is modulin. But that's a three and a half diameter uh, clock face. So this thing is rather large. Uh, you can see this modular, just beautiful way it cuts. And Dennis, who's doing this work, is a uh, true artist. So it's fun to watch this uh, get cut. It's gonna to need to be painted and finished, so it's a replica of that. But you can see it uh, really came out beautiful. So a lot of work to do still, uh, but a super fun project. Hope you're enjoying it.